We're gonna go ahead and do the machine composition on a Vision V4 Combo Plus, same as Vision V3 and Vision V5, newer models. The machine composition is what links the selection numbers that we see on the trays, like the 11, 12, 13, 21, 22, and so on, to an actual physical channel or cable that is located in the tray. Okay, first I'm gonna show what cables and what connections I'm gonna be talking about. Okay. Here we're gonna go ahead and take this panel off real quick. First I'm gonna go ahead and power off the machine. We're gonna remove this little screw. Make sure the, machine, the elevator's all the way down. And we can lift up and turn the panel on its side. To remove this panel. The tray connectors are these located on the cabin. Starting from number 18 on the top. Then you got 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, and number 11. It is capable of holding, the machine is capable of holding up to eight trays. Right now we have a configuration of only seven trays, therefore we have one spare connector. Okay. The other connectors that we're going to be talking about are the connections on the trays, which are these actual physical connectors that connect to the motors. Each individual one starts with the number one on the left hand side, then the second one, even though it's not connected, is number two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay? So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna explain how these uh, selection numbers are linked to the channel numbers. When doing machine composition, each tray has up to seven possible connectors. On the back of the tray, like I said, like I showed before, from number one to number seven. These connections are all connected to one connector on the tray itself and then connected to the cabin. This connection that goes to the cabin, or the main uh, tray harness, it can be connected to any of the eight possible connections on the machine cabinet, starting from number 11 on the bottom, going up to number 18. Okay? In a combo plus configuration, similar to this, we have only seven connections used and we have one that's not being used. So how does this work? For example, on the first tray under the machine, all in the top, we have, for example, this first connector connected to num selection number 11. Again, these are selection numbers, fiscal numbers that the people select. This is selection number 12. Let's say that it happens to be number four. And number 13, number 7. Again, the selections above it, it's going to be an extractor, and this is the physical cable connected to that extractor. All right? Supposing that this tray is connected to connection number 18, okay? Connection to number 18, then this will make this channel number number 18. And then the last digit will be the 1. This will be 1, 8. And then number 4. And this will be 1, 8. And number 7. When we're doing machine composition, it's important to know that if the channel is not connected, or the tray is not connected, you, the machine will not allow you to program that channel. So we're going to go ahead and go to the machine right now and do a sample program. When doing machine composition, what I like to do is I like to make a chart that resembles the machine um, layout of all the products, like so. All right. Here in the chart, you're gonna see that I have all the same selection numbers, and below the line, I'm gonna leave the space where I'm gonna go ahead and enter the actual channel numbers, all right? <clears throat> we were first going to go ahead and get into the programming mode of the machine. Pressing the door switch inside the door. And the programming button inside the door. Pressing the start key. Pressing the 
and start key and we're going to look for machine composition. Once we're in machine composition, we're going to go ahead and press A to enter. And we have three options. One to program, two to check, and C to delete. We're first we're going to go ahead and go over the deleting passwords. <clears throat> Password 9972. If we enter 9972 after we press the C, which is to delete here, 9972, what this does is going to delete the whole entire machine composition, meaning all the linking it has from the channels to the selection numbers, it's all going to be wiped out. <clears throat> if we want to delete several or one in particular, channel linking, meaning uh, the linking from a selection number to a particular motor, channel, we're going to go ahead and enter code 232323, okay, 2323 erases one particular channel, example, I'm going to enter here, 2323, two, and it's going to tell you to enter the channel you want to erase, I'm going to go ahead and erase 111, hit A, and it's erased. All right. Uh, to check if that was erased, I know for a fact that channel 111 is selection number 71. So I'm going to go here and check, see, press number 71, and it says selection not available, meaning it's erased. All right. All right. And the other password under the deleting option is code 1212. 1212 deletes all non-associated channels, meaning in the event that we went to a machine to reconfigure it, and all we did was remove channels and remove selection numbers, we enter code 1212, and it's going to delete from memory anything that is not currently connected. Okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and first delete everything. 9972 Okay. Now, to program, what we're going to do is we're going to hit button number 1. Okay? And we're going to start with the selection numbers. We're going to start from the top left-hand corner. It's selection number 11. Now it's going to tell me to choose a channel. Okay? We know from the board before that we have eight possible connections starting from connector number 18 on the upper left hand corner of the cabin going down to number 11. So we're going to assume that this is connected in that connector. In the event that that connection is not being used, the machine will not allow you to enter the number for that channel. So we're going to start with number 18. Okay, so 1.8 appeared on the display, meaning that connection is available. And since it's our first trade, that's where it is connected. And then the actual connector or channel for this particular trade, since we're going from left to right, the first available one will be number one. So we put in button number one and it does go in. So we go ahead and save it with letter A. So we programmed number 11 to 181. I'm going to go ahead and here in my chart, I'm going to write number 181. That way I don't lose track. We're going to press C to go back. We're going to go ahead and enter our next selection number, selection number 12. And normally we'll go ahead and try our next available channel. So we did 181. We're, in, we're still using connection 18 because it's for that tray. So we're going to go ahead and enter 182. The two did not go in, meaning that that connector is not being used or it's not connected. So we keep going and we skip to the next one. 183. Nope. 184. 184 is connected. Okay. So that's where it appeared. We're going to hit A to save. We're going to write it down. 184. We're going to go C to step, go one step back and try the next one. It will be selection number 13. 
And selection number 13, we already used 184, so we're gonna go ahead and go to 185. That did not go in, so we do 186. 186 went in, so we press A to save. We're gonna write it down. And we're done with the first tray. Press C to go back. Now, we're gonna go ahead and enter our new selection number. Next tray will be selection number 21. And the channel number, assuming we use number 18, the next one below will be 17. It's the next possible connector. So 17 came up on the display, meaning that is connected. So we go ahead and enter our first number, button number one, which is the channel on the way on the left hand side. Okay, so that went in. We're gonna go ahead, press A to save. We're gonna write here 171. Press C to go back. A new selection number will be selection number 22. Again, I'm going exactly by how my machine is configured and by the chart that I have. So I used 121, 171 already. So I'm gonna try 172. 172 does not go in. 173. No, 174, that goes in, press A, save it, and move on to the next one, and so on. If we go to a next channel, and let's say number 16, because we're in the next following tray, does not go in, then we go ahead and try the next available tray connection, which will be 15, just like we do with the channels for the actual trays. All right. Once you're done configuring your machine, you wanna go ahead and to check your machine composition, making sure that you did not double program or you skipped one, you can always check it. So we're gonna go ahead and press C. We're gonna press two to check. And we're gonna enter a selection number. Let's say number 11. That's gonna say associated with channel 181. Let's see number 12, associated with channel 184, and so on. Like I mentioned before, our erasing passwords are 9972 to delete the entire machine, 2323 and 1212 to delete all non-associated channels or all channels that are already not connected. In the event you press a selection number and two channel numbers come up, you can go ahead and you can enter code 2323 and delete only the channel number that is not being used.